In the mysterious depths of Mel's Hole, a perplexing revelation has sent shockwaves around the globe. The mystery surrounding Mel's Hole, a legendary pit with seemingly boundless depths, has captivated imaginations for years. Now, a startling discovery at its bottom has surfaced, challenging our understanding of reality. Join us as we explore how what they found at the bottom of Mel's Hole terrifies the whole world. Unraveling the mysteries of Mel's Hole in Manistash Ridge. Nestled in the rural expanses of Manistash Ridge, Washington, there exists a fascinating mystery that has intrigued people worldwide, Mel's Hole. Discovered by a resident named Mel Waters, this puzzling hole challenges our understanding and continues to capture the interest of many. Mel Waters, the unsuspecting protagonist of this mysterious tale, came across the unusual pit on his property. Initially appearing as a regular hole, it soon proved to be anything but ordinary. Waters observed that birds avoided flying over it, and even brave dogs displayed an unusual fear when near. There was a palpable tension in the air around Mel's hole, as if nature itself sensed something unusual. The odd occurrences didn't end there. As Waters approached the pit, electronic devices, including radios, started acting strangely. This unusual interference added an extra layer of weirdness to the already puzzling story of Mel's hole. It was like reality itself was subtly distorted in the presence of this unassuming opening. But what gave people chills when exploring the mystery of Mel's hole was the deep uncertainty surrounding its bottom. No one could figure out for sure how deep it was or what was down there, creating a mix of fascination and fear. The abyss seemed to defy the laws of physics and challenge our understanding of what lies beneath the surface. The location of Mel's hole is a closely guarded secret, adding even more intrigue to the story. While the exact coordinates and details remain unknown, the surrounding area, known for its scenic beauty, now shares the spotlight with this extraordinary anomaly. Manistash Ridge, with its natural charm, has unwittingly become the backdrop for this unusual void. Mel Waters, the man whose encounters with the mysterious hole captured global curiosity, remains a mysterious figure. His stories, which are the foundation of the Mel's Hole narrative, add an extra layer of complexity to the overall mystery. Mel Waters, born in the mid-20th century, experienced a significant turn in his life during the early 1990s. While exploring the remote and rugged land he had chosen for a quieter lifestyle, he unexpectedly came across a mysterious pit on his property. This discovery marked the beginning of his journey into the world of mystery, as the pit seemed to plunge into unfathomable depths. This encounter not only reshaped Waters' life, but also became the focal point of the Mel's Hole narrative. Waters described the hole as almost infinitely deep and couldn't resist sharing his discovery with the world. This revelation sparked widespread curiosity and speculation, turning the tranquil wilderness he sought for solace into a hub of mystery. According to Waters, the hole wasn't just deep but bottomless, capable of silently swallowing any object, a claim that generated both intrigue and skepticism. Waters' descriptions vividly portrayed the mysterious pit, creating an impression of immeasurable depth that heightened the sense of mystery and skepticism among locals and a global audience. What began as a personal discovery evolved into a worldwide enigma, as Mel's Hole transcended its remote location and captured the curiosity of people around the globe. As Waters narratives gained popularity, reports of strange incidents near the hole emerged. Animals seemed to instinctively avoid it, as if detecting an otherworldly presence, and electronic devices exhibited unusual signals and interference when brought close. These peculiar occurrences added complexity to the allure of Mel's Hole, transforming it from a mere geographical oddity into a captivating subject of fascination and debate that extended far beyond its immediate surroundings. It's important to highlight that Waters didn't immediately share these extraordinary claims with the public. Initially, he perceived the hole as a well due to its appearance, and his understanding of the anomaly evolved. Despite the compelling nature of his vivid accounts, they remained somewhat elusive, allowing for interpretation and sparking ongoing discussions about the true nature of Mel's hole. Mel Waters' Encounter with the Otherworldly Depths With an estimated diameter of around 9 feet, 
Mel's Hole stands in stark contrast to the rough and natural landscape that surrounds it. What sets it apart is not only its circular perfection, but also the immaculately smooth edges, an almost impossible pristine quality that defies the inherent ruggedness of its environment. According to Mel Waters, the discoverer of this mysterious anomaly, the hole is not just a surface phenomenon, it plunges into an unfathomable depth. Reports subsequently suggested a range of depths, varying from thousands to an infinite number of feet. From an external perspective, there is no discernible bottom, an optical illusion that gives the impression of the hole extending endlessly into the Earth's depths. The darkness within is so profound that even powerful lights prove futile in penetrating beyond a certain point. Adding to the mystique are the atmospheric phenomena reported by Waters. On cold days, he claimed to witness steam rising from the depths of the hole, an inexplicable occurrence that hinted at unseen forces at play. Temperature differentials around the opening further perplexed observers, presenting anomalies that defied conventional explanations. It was as if the very essence of Mel's hole transcended the boundaries of our understanding of the natural world. Beyond the visual and atmospheric peculiarities, reports suggested that the hole exerted a magnetic pull. Compass needles and other metallic objects near its perimeter were said to be influenced by an unseen force, adding another layer of intrigue to the already perplexing narrative. This magnetic aspect raised questions about the underlying forces governing Mel's hole, forcing observers to grapple with the possibility that it wasn't just a physical opening in the ground, but a portal to realms beyond our comprehension. Contrary to popular belief, Mel Waters was not the first to stumble upon the mysterious pit on his property. Local lore suggests that some residents in the area were already acquainted with the enigmatic hole. This remote region, known for its rugged and secluded terrain, attracted individuals seeking solitude or those embracing an off-the-grid lifestyle. However, the details of the hole's existence remained largely confined within the local community, with little permeation beyond the boundaries of this isolated enclave. The hole, as described by Mel Waters, defied conventional expectations. Despite its initial resemblance to a typical well, its characteristics proved to be anything but ordinary. Waters reported anomalous incidents involving electronic devices in the vicinity. Radio interference became a common occurrence, and his radio equipment picked up unexplained signals, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the already mysterious locale. Another captivating facet of Mel's Hole was its impact on the local wildlife. Birds, typically masters of the sky, avoided flying over the hole, showcasing an instinctual aversion to the enigmatic pit. Even Mel's dogs, known for their fearlessness, displayed an unusual reluctance to approach the vicinity. Furthermore, Despite its outwardly dark and seemingly lifeless appearance, Waters recounted instances of unexplained lights or beams emanating from the hole. In one particular episode, he witnessed a solid black beam, reminiscent of a searchlight, rising from the depths and extending into the sky. Convinced that the hole was far from normal, Mel Waters embarked on a series of experiments to unravel its inexplicable properties. In an attempt to gauge its depth, he dropped various objects into the pit, including ropes, fishing lines, and weighted items. To his bewilderment, none of these items, regardless of length or weight, reportedly reached the bottom. The hole, it seemed, had a depth that defied measurement. Objects dropped into the hole didn't just disappear silently. They did so without any audible impact, challenging the expected sounds and resistance associated with reaching a bottom. Waters deduced a depth of more than 80,000 feet, or approximately 24 kilometers, yet he boldly asserted that the hole may not have a bottom at all. This assertion added another layer of mystery to Mel's hole, leaving observers to grapple with the profound implications of a seemingly bottomless void in the heart of the Washington wilderness. Mel's hole and the radio show that launched a mystery. In another intriguing incident, Mel Waters observed the peculiar effects of Mel's hole on a simple compass. As he brought the compass near the mysterious pit, the needles started to behave erratically, deviating from their usual northward orientation and instead pointing towards the hole. 
This unexplained magnetic interference suggested that the hole possessed a mysterious force capable of affecting the standard behavior of magnetic instruments. Adding to the mystique, Mel Waters recounted a highly controversial episode involving a deceased dog. According to his narrative, the owner of the deceased canine chose an unconventional approach and opted not to bury his furry companion. Instead, the lifeless body was placed near the mysterious pit. Astonishingly, a few days later, the dog allegedly reappeared alive and in good health. The revived canine exhibited signs of restored vitality, raising speculation that the inexplicable properties of Mel's hole may have played a role in bringing the dog back from the brink of death. The dissemination of these extraordinary accounts owes much to one man, Art Bell. Renowned as an American broadcaster, Bell achieved fame through his radio show, Coast to Coast AM. The show gained immense popularity for its exploration of paranormal phenomena, conspiracy theories, and unconventional topics that captured the imaginations of late-night listeners. Coast to Coast AM occupied the late-night airwaves, commencing around 10 or 11 p.m. and running until the early hours of the morning, concluding around 4 a.m. Art Bell, with his captivating storytelling and engaging hosting style, added a unique dimension to the show. He created an atmosphere where listeners could delve into the mysterious, unexplained, and supernatural, fostering a community interested in exploring the fringes of conventional understanding. Bell's show was a melting pot of diverse subjects, spanning UFOs, ghosts, government cover-ups, alternative medicine, and cryptids. It served as a platform for guests, experts, and callers to share their experiences, theories, and discussions on these unconventional topics. Through Coast to Coast AM, Art Bell provided a gateway for the extraordinary tales surrounding Mel's Hole to reach a wider audience, amplifying the mystique of this enigmatic phenomenon and cementing its place in the realm of unexplained mysteries. Throughout history, radio has played a crucial role in entertaining, informing, and connecting people, serving as a platform for discussions, news, entertainment, and storytelling. Art Bell's radio show, Coast to Coast AM, stands out as a prime example, drawing listeners who were seeking unconventional and thought-provoking content. The show cultivated a community intrigued by mysteries and unexplained phenomena, offering a space for exploration beyond the boundaries of conventional understanding. In 1997, Mel Waters became a significant figure on the airwaves when he appeared as a guest on Art Bell's show. Waters shared his accounts of Mel's Hole, unraveling the details of its inexplicable properties that captured the imagination of Bell's audience. The exposure on Bell's show served as a catalyst, propelling the story of Mel's Hole into the mainstream and generating widespread curiosity and fascination with the mysterious pit and its alleged supernatural characteristics. Returning to the show later that same year, Mel Waters' discussions about Mel's hole became the talk of the town, amplifying the visibility of his claims about the pit. This single appearance sparked increased public interest, fueled discussions, and prompted speculations about the nature of the enigmatic hole. Art Bell's show played a pivotal role in propelling Mel's hole into the realms of paranormal lore and popular culture, solidifying its status as an intriguing yet elusive mystery that continued to capture the collective curiosity of those fascinated by the unexplained. The program achieved an extensive audience outreach, attracting millions of listeners throughout the United States. Additionally, its late-night airing proved ideal for engaging a committed and diverse audience fascinated by the investigation of paranormal phenomena, exploration of conspiracy theories, and discussions on unconventional topics. The show gained significant popularity, establishing itself as one of the most influential and widely followed late-night radio programs of its era. From local legends to government cover-ups, Mel's Hole garnered considerable attention significantly adding to its widespread notoriety. Initially reaching out to Art Bell via fax, Mel Waters described the puzzling discovery of this enigmatic hole situated on his property. The details shared were nothing short of intriguing, encompassing the unfathomable depth of the hole and the peculiar phenomena previously outlined. In the aftermath of Mel's appearance on the show, 
a plethora of local legends sprouted around the pit. While some narratives aligned with Water's account, others took on a more fantastical nature. One particularly whimsical suggestion posited the whole as a gateway to an alternate realm or a portal through which spirits traversed. These myths, whether grounded in reality or not, tended to amplify the mysterious aspects of the whole, nurturing a collective sense of wonder and curiosity among the local populace. Some of these legends even wove the whole into tales of creation, attributing its existence to mythical beings or assigning it a role in the cosmic order. Within the community, stories circulated about individuals allegedly vanishing in the vicinity of Mel's Hole. Despite the absence of concrete evidence supporting these claims, such narratives played a pivotal role in perpetuating the aura of mystery surrounding the site. Official records or authenticated reports documenting these disappearances remained elusive, leaving a veil of uncertainty draped over these speculative tales. The mystique surrounding Mel's Hole extended beyond mere disappearances. Reports detailing unusual atmospheric phenomena, sightings of bizarre occurrences, and other seemingly inexplicable events became integral elements in shaping the narrative of the area's mysterious nature. Despite concerted efforts to investigate these incidents, definitive explanations remained frustratingly out of reach, further contributing to the enigmatic reputation of the site. As the local folklore burgeoned around Mel's Hole following his appearance on Art's show, there were unexpected personal repercussions for Mel Waters himself. Merely four days after the broadcast, Mel was confronted with a startling spectacle at the entrance of his property. The road leading to his land was unexpectedly blocked by armed military personnel, creating a perplexing and unsettling scenario. When Mel attempted to gain access to his property, the armed personnel thwarted his efforts. Perplexed and seeking an explanation, Mel was met with a cryptic response from the men who claimed that a plane crash had occurred on his land. Strangely, Mel hadn't witnessed any such event, and there were no visible signs like smoke or debris that would substantiate such a claim. The bewilderment deepened as men clad in hazmat suits appeared on the scene. Mel, attempting to engage with the authorities present, asked to speak to someone in charge. However, his requests were met with vague and threatening responses, creating an atmosphere of tension and uncertainty. When Mel asserted his rights to know what was transpiring on his land, the authorities countered with insinuations of potentially incriminating evidence, such as a drug lab, on the property. Undeterred, Mel warned that he would make this situation public, but his statements were met with scoffs from the officers. Despite Mel's persistent efforts to reason with the authorities and seek clarification, the situation remained cloaked in secrecy. The unexpected military involvement injected another layer of intrigue and complexity into the already enigmatic saga of Mel's Hole. The lack of transparency and the ominous threats from the armed personnel deepened the mystery, leaving Mel Waters and the public at large with more questions than answers. This unexpected turn of events added a dimension of government involvement to the narrative, intensifying the intrigue surrounding the elusive nature of Mel's Hole, anomalous discoveries in the depths of Mel's Hole. Following the perplexing encounter with armed military personnel, Mel Waters took to the airwaves once again to share the extraordinary events that had unfolded. During his second call to Art Bell's show, an invitation for another in-person appearance was extended. Mel revealed that his real estate agent had hinted at potential buyers expressing keen interest in acquiring his property. While no concrete offer had materialized, the agent conveyed assurances to Mel that a lucrative deal was imminent. In this call, Mel unveiled previously undisclosed information garnered from a conversation with a local elder. According to the elder, the hole had once been surrounded by stone columns, suggesting a potential antiquity that surpassed previous estimations. The revelation hinted at the possibility that Mel's hole could be much older than initially thought, and throughout its history it may have undergone significant transformations. The conversation took an intriguing turn as another caller chimed in, pointing out the proximity of Mel's property to the Yakima Training Center, a government facility. This observation raised the speculation that the earlier military intervention might be connected to the facility's presence. Additionally, Someone else joined the discussion, 
claiming that the area had a reputation for UFO sightings and peculiar phenomena, adding an extra layer of intrigue to the unfolding narrative. Curiously, after this show, Mel Waters all but disappeared from the public eye. Years later, in 2002, he made a surprising return to Art Bell's show. The question lingered. Where had Mel been during this extended absence? The mystery surrounding his sudden disappearance and subsequent reappearance only deepened the enigma of Mel's hole. Three years before his third scheduled appearance on the radio show, a peculiar series of events unfolded in Mel Waters' life. On that day, he was occupied with helping his nephew settle into a new apartment. Afterward, he boarded a bus heading back to Olympia. Unexpectedly, the transit authorities halted the bus mid-journey due to an onboard disturbance. Forced to disembark, Mel found himself on another bus with fellow passengers, only to lose consciousness shortly thereafter. To his bewilderment, Mel awoke in a dirt alley in San Francisco. Adding to the mystery, his personal belongings were missing, and he discovered an IV line in his arm. Even more bizarrely, several of his molars were gone. Disoriented and desperate, Mel reached out to his nephew for assistance in returning to Olympia. However, the ensuing developments took an extraordinary turn. Following the strange incident, Mel received an astonishing offer, a perpetual lease on his property with a monthly compensation of $250,000. The condition attached to this tempting proposition was absolute silence about the mysterious pit and a commitment to relocate elsewhere. Faced with this perplexing choice, Mel decided to accept the offer, taking the money and resettling in Australia. Fast forward to 2002, Mel Waters, no longer bound by silence, felt compelled to share his experiences. By this time, Mel's hole had garnered significant attention, with reports circulating about perplexing incidents associated with the pit. One notable account involved a mysterious black beam emanating from the pit's depths, adding an extra layer of intrigue. Mel himself contributed to the enigma by recounting an unexpected discovery within the pit, a dime that seemed out of place and distinctly unusual. The coin bore the image of President Roosevelt and was dated 1943. This finding posed a perplexing anomaly, as dimes featuring Roosevelt's portrait were not minted in that particular year. Adding to the complexity of the situation was the peculiar mint mark on the discovered dime, a vital detail usually indicating the coin's place of production. Strangely, this particular dime bore the letter B, presenting a perplexing conundrum since no city tied to U.S. currency minting had ever been identified with a name starting with the letter B. Recognizing the significance of this anomaly, Mel Waters sought clarification by sending the coin to an expert coin appraiser. In a surprising turn of events, when Mel followed up with the appraiser a few days later, he learned that the Treasury Department had confiscated the coin. The reasons behind this confiscation remained shrouded in mystery, prompting various speculations and theories among those intrigued by the anomalous coin. The diverse interpretations surrounding the coin's confiscation introduced a range of possibilities. Some theories suggested a potential connection between the coin and interdimensional phenomena associated with Mel's hole. However, it's essential to approach such claims with a critical mindset, considering the absence of concrete evidence or verified information supporting the existence of this alleged interdimensional coin. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. Let's delve into details of how what they found at the bottom of Mel's hole terrifies the whole world. You see, Various accounts of intriguing discoveries in Mel's Hole provide different and often fantastical details. Some versions of the story claim that Mel's Hole is an infinite pit with no bottom, while others suggest that it leads to a subterranean world. Reports of time distortions have become another intriguing facet associated with Mel's Hole, further contributing to the speculative nature surrounding the site. Individuals have come forward with accounts of peculiar time-related phenomena experienced near the alleged location. According to these reports, some individuals asserted that they encountered time-related anomalies near the mysterious pit. These narratives often featured instances of time dilation, where time appeared to pass at a rate different from the norm. 
Let us know what you think about this in the comments below. Unconventional theories behind Mel's phenomena. There were claims of clocks and timekeeping devices malfunctioning unpredictably, adding an extra layer of complexity to the stories. Within these accounts, some spoke of observing unusual fluctuations with time, while others recounted instances of missing time, during which they couldn't account for a portion of their experiences. The range of reported time-related anomalies only deepened the mysteries associated with Mel's Hole. Various theories have been proposed to explain these alleged time-related phenomena linked to the pit. Speculations ran the gamut, from hypotheses involving gravitational anomalies causing time dilation effects, to suggestions of interdimensional rifts influencing temporal experiences. However, it's crucial to note that, without concrete scientific evidence or rigorous investigation, these incidents and theories remain speculative elements intertwined with the mystique surrounding Mel's Hole. As if the myriad anomalies, strange discoveries, and bizarre occurrences were not enough to fuel fascination, discussions have emerged, proposing connections between Mel's Hole and a nearby Native American site, contributing to the mysterious aura surrounding the area. Nevertheless, information regarding any Native American influences and the experiences linked to the site primarily relies on anecdotes, lacking comprehensive documentation or scientific examination. Verified details or authenticated records supporting these claims are notably lacking. However, what can be confirmed is that Mel Waters vanished after this incident. The question arises, how should we interpret all of this? One approach is to explore the speculative aspects of the situation. Numerous speculative theories have emerged in an attempt to unravel the mysteries of Mel's Hole, each offering a unique perspective on the enigmatic site. One intriguing conjecture suggests potential government involvement, proposing the idea that military interests might be seeking to harness or control perceived anomalies within the area. However, despite long-standing suspicions, concrete evidence supporting such claims remains elusive. Another speculative notion ties Mel's Hole to ancient volcanic activity, positing that it could serve as an entrance to an underground network of volcanic caves. Advocates of this theory believe that these caverns might harbor undiscovered secrets or unusual geological formations, contributing to the site's mystique. A more fantastical conjecture revolves around the concept of a hollow earth, suggesting that the hole might be an entry point to an inner world beneath the Earth's surface. This theory postulates the existence of vast subterranean spaces potentially inhabited by unknown civilizations, presenting a captivating yet speculative idea. Venturing into the realm of fringe theories, some propose that the hole functions as a portal or gateway to alternate dimensions or parallel universes, this hypothesis speculates on the potential for interdimensional travel or interactions occurring at the site, adding an element of science fiction to the mix. Additional theories suggest that the hole taps into a unique natural energy source or possesses unusual electromagnetic properties. Proponents of this idea believe that these energies might induce the strange phenomena witnessed in the surrounding area, offering an alternative explanation for the anomalies associated with Mel's hole. In a realm where the speculative knows no bounds, another theory proposes extraterrestrial involvement, suggesting that the hole might be linked to alien technology or serve as a landing site for UFOs. This theory often intertwines with accounts of UFO sightings and encounters reported in the vicinity, blending terrestrial and extraterrestrial elements in the quest to unravel the truth behind Mel's hole. While these theories may range from the plausible to the unconventional, they contribute to the diverse and sometimes controversial perspectives surrounding the true nature of the whole. How Beliefs Shape the Mystique of Mel's Hole In the vast array of theories circulating Mel's Hole, some align with scientific principles, while others delve into the realms of pseudoscience and mythology. However, amidst the speculative narratives, there are also plausible natural explanations rooted in the geological and environmental characteristics of the region. One feasible natural explanation proposes that the location of the hole 
may harbor unique geological formations or mineral deposits that exert influence on the surrounding environment. These anomalies could materialize as magnetic fields, uncommon rock compositions, or subterranean caverns, giving rise to peculiar effects or distortions that contribute to the mystique of Mel's Hole. Certain geological formations can generate magnetic fields, potentially causing interference with electronic devices or perceptual alterations. This interference could account for reported instances of strange experiences, distorted equipment readings, or altered senses reported by individuals in the proximity of Mel's Hole. Furthermore, the region might have experienced subtle seismic movements, leading to visual or perceptual distortions. While these movements may not be potent enough to induce earthquakes, they could subtly impact the surrounding environment, potentially contributing to the reported unusual occurrences associated with Mel's Hole. The enigma surrounding Mel's Hole could find its roots in unique atmospheric or environmental conditions specific to the area. These conditions might contribute to optical illusions or sensory distortions that baffle those who witness them. For instance, atmospheric anomalies or mirages could generate visual illusions that appear perplexing and unexplainable. Additionally, the very landscape of the region may possess features that, when observed from specific angles or under particular lighting conditions, create illusions or distort perceptions. Unusual rock formations, topographical quirks, or reflective surfaces might all play a role in the reported strange phenomena associated with Mel's Hole. It's crucial to acknowledge the susceptibility of human perception and memory to various biases and errors. The recounting of events may sometimes be influenced by psychological factors leading to misinterpretations or exaggerations of the actual occurrences. Recognizing these cognitive aspects is essential when delving into the reported phenomena linked to Mel's Hole. Another perspective to consider is the impact of stories, myths, or cultural beliefs about the area. These cultural influences could contribute to people interpreting ordinary events as mysterious or inexplicable, adding a layer of fascination to the happenings around the whole. While these cultural influences don't necessarily discredit the experiences people claim to have had, they open up potential scientific avenues for exploration when investigating the reported phenomena. As for the question of what lies at the bottom of Mel's hole, finding an answer would be more straightforward if the exact coordinates of the hole were public knowledge. Numerous adventurers and experts have sought to unravel the mysteries surrounding Mel's Hole. One such individual is Gerald R. Osborne, also known as Red Elk, an intertribal medicine man of Native American and white heritage who claims to have personally witnessed the Hole. Osborne asserts that he visited the Hole multiple times since 1961 and disclosed intriguing details, such as a clandestine government base linked to the Hole dedicated to studying alien activity. However, despite his assertions, an expedition led by Osborne in 2002, involving 30 people, failed to locate the elusive hole. On the contrary, geologist Jack Powell from the State Department of Natural Resources holds a skeptical viewpoint. Powell dismisses the hole's existence as geologically implausible, arguing that a hole of such depth would collapse under the immense pressure and heat from the surrounding layers. Powell proposes that the tale may have originated from an ordinary old mine shaft on private property. However, it would be unwise to dismiss Mel's claims and those of other locals without proper scrutiny. The enigma of Mel's hole has woven itself into the fabric of unexplained phenomena, captivating the interest of many. This fascination has solidified its place in popular culture, becoming a recurring reference in various media forms, including books, documentaries, podcasts, and fictional works. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.